LEZ300 Pro construction process, as entry tools, hard melt grooving knife pipe cutter, cutting knife, utility knife ruler, spear level, polyurethane foam, 3 cm skew, insulation pipe aluminum tape pipe elbow, claw hammer, claw hammer, tape rule. Dry underfloor heating panels must be laid with the floor level first. Ground levelness within 2 meters. Height difference should not exceed 3. Same requirements as for laying wooden floors. Sweeping floors to ensure that they are clean and dust free. The cement lime lumps on the floor should be clean. Use a vacuum cleaner and clean the corners to avoid dust accumulation. The keel should be set at the main entrance entry. Fix with screws. The keel can play an effective load bearing. Fixed underfloor heating module roll to avoid later ground movement or dust. If you don't use the keel, you can fill the space at the threshold with cement later. Strictly according to the drawing's construction. Ensure that the difference in the length of pipeline does not exceed 15%. Laying from the outside in, starting with the turning universal head. Maintain the alignment between pipe slots. Use a ruler to measure and mark the dimensions when cutting modules. Use a cutter to cut. Do not cut with a utility knife if the aluminum layer is too thick. Cross area turns using straight and universal head transitions. Cutting straight boards should be minimized. It is recommended to use kill fixing at the threshold of the room and slot the place the pipe. The kill can play a good fixed module and load bearing to avoid the later loose rattling. Under wardrobes and gap areas are cut and delayed using high compression XPS panels. All gaps between modules must be sealed with fiberglass aluminum foil. The tape in the groove should be scored in advance using a utility knife. Do not use feet on the pipe directly pressure tape, resulting in deformation of the pipe. Use high pressure resistant XPS board to fill in the dense piping below the manifold. Draw the position of the pipe with the marker first. Keeping the pipe work even. Thermal fusion tip depth control at 2 cm. Screw it in place. After laying, Hoover should be used to clean up the dust in the module slot before going.
below the manifold and dance. It is filled with polyurethane foam to provide thermal insulation. Before laying the wooden floor, the ground should be paved with a layer of soundproof mat with aluminum foil thin to millimeters. Avoid the friction noise caused by the aluminum plate directly contacting with the wooden floor. How to install dry underfloor heating in a house with wooden and tiled floors. Use 3 cm high compression resistant XPS board. Stagger laying padding. should be sealed with aluminum foil tape. Laying dry module on the XPS board. The module and the XPS board up and down should be vertical and horizontal cross laying not parallel laying. Living room tiling using cement yellow sand normal tiling or dry mixing gray tiling. Mortar as well as mixing gray thickness to maintain 3 cm. Easy 300 Pro dry products with nano anti corrosion coating under the loop. Be in direct contact with concrete, cement, without any corrosion, oxidation occurs.